So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now wait for the lab to start and now open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now the next step is that you have to just click on i understand and then we have to just activate our cloud shell so let me show you how you have to activate the cloud shell just click on i agree and agree and continue and then just activate the cloud shell click over here wait for the cloud shell to activate it will take some time click on continue and authorize yourself okay here once the cloud shell is ready we'll move forward to the lab instructions so here finally the cloud shell is now ready now let me increase the font size first of all so let me increase the font size and here we have increased the font size now come to the lab instruction and task number one first of all clone the repository in which we'll be working just clone it it will take some time and finally the repository has been cloned now we have to change the directory just paste it like this and then if you want to view you can run the cat command now run this touch.main.tf file basically it will create the file now we have to just open the editor and do some modification so just click on open editor it will take some time and new page will open here only it will open make sure you have enabled the cookies and in case you want to enable directly you can see that arrow icon on the square box you can click on it it will open in a browser now just wait and finally here it is loading now here basically we have to some modifications in the file so just stay tuned and now here you can see that is policy library okay so you have to just click on the policy library and then you have to open the main.tf file also we will be exploring all the files so let me show you what are the files available here so just click on it and here we have libraries multiple things are here you can see it let me show you what files are available over here okay then we will cover it so from here you can see that here we have policies libraries all these things so here you can see library here multiple files are here so we don't have to do anything in these files first of all now here we have to for just find the main.tf file so just scroll down and come down okay you can see here main.tf file you have to just find over here and here you can see main.tf file just open this file and just paste the content now here basically we have to upgrade two things one is project id and second is username so for the project id you can just copy from here and just paste over here like this and for the role basically role sorry role not user id you can see here is the user id you can just copy from here also or from five number also so just copy it carefully and just paste over here like this now once you have copied you have to save it how will save it click on file and then just thing is it. that you have to just save it now open the terminal and run the terraform init command i hope you have copied it after initiation command we have to run the plan command so come over here and just run the plan command like this you have to run and after that we have to convert it to a plan to json so just run it like this you have to run once you have completed this thing we have to just run the sudo command so just run the sudo command and it will take some time so wait for it so now type y and then hit just hit enter okay you have to just type y and hit enter and once it is completed you can see over here now we have to just run this plan command policies okay we are just validating the resources which we have created just now now again you have to just come here, over here come over here and you can see task number two is the modification part so here just open the editor from here you can see we have to just open this file that is basically policy library open this like this and in the policy constraint you have to just see this file okay i am service now come over here and here basically we have to add a basic quicklabs.net domain okay so just copy it like this scroll down a bit and here just enter the space come over here and paste it now once it's done you have to just save it and then open the terminal now just paste over here and once it's completed you have to just run this command now once the apply policy command is completed it will be completed with the lab here just check the score and finally we are done just check the score first of all run the apply command okay then only check the score 
and once it's completed we'll be done with the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel for the remaining challenge labs and skill badges you can check the description now that's all about this video you can check it and thank you have a great day